guys. Thanks for watching again. I gotta come up with a better intro. Gotta come up with a better lot of stuff. But in the meantime, I'm just getting my face out there and sharing my stories with you because that's my favorite thing to do. So, I woke up late today and we are going to do what we call a rush job. Rush job. So, I'm going with this. It, uh, the Catrice Camouflage Cream. It was a busy weekend. It was a great weekend. My friends came up to visit. We had such a good time. Laughed so much. I ate all the bad foods. Drank all the bad drinks. It was like we were in college again. And it was fun. It was a lot of fun. But it was also like when we were in college and we didn't sleep a whole lot. Because... I think we got home about 2 a.m. And my bedtime's about 9. Yeah, I'm usually in bed about 9 or 10. I go to bed early. I I said this before, I don't sleep great to begin with, so I just try to get more. A longer period of sleep. Sometimes. But, yeah. We got up about 7 it was a, yesterday was a long day. It was a long day. It was great. Worth it. Worth every second. But I was tired. And the one thing, though, was really awesome is that they came up to see me. So after all that, I didn't have to drive back. I need to get a better tripod. <laughs> so I think I've jingled it together well enough. We'll see. We will see. All right, I put primer on my face in the meantime. Whatever. Um, I'm just going to slap things on really quickly. Anyway, so back to my stories. So they gave me the idea, which we didn't do because I kind of forgot and we got distracted with lots of things, um, to do an eyebrow routine because they need help with their eyebrows. So I think maybe I'll try that. I think, you know, they wanted to go shopping for products and film, like picking it out and stuff, which we didn't do. We did pick out products, we didn't film that. Um, but my friend Jody, she's got more eyebrow hairs and she just wanted them a little bit fuller. And she wanted something super easy. Stephanie has very blonde hair, so she wanted something to have her eyebrows show up. So, two different products. One for Jody. I haven't tried, but I think it worked pretty well for her. And Stephanie's, they showed up that night. But, again, didn't do it. Need to work on that. Oh, well. Gotta videotape the content. So... I'm going to mishmash, mishmash, I'm going to mishmash foundations on my face again, because that's what I like to do. You know, I really like this, I haven't been showing you my products again, I'm really bad at that. I really like this Revolution Conceal and Define, I, I think, <laughs> and I bought it originally, and I'm like, you know what, it did not match my skin. It matches pretty well now. Um, but it didn't match it, so I went to the store again because it was on sale or s some sort of thing where I could buy it again. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to get a better color, whatever direction they needed, like, darker or lighter. And because uh, I've, I've read so many reviews on how awesome it is. So I get it home, and I realize I bought the same color because I'm delusional when it comes to color matching myself. I think that I'm something different than I really am, but you know, it matches pretty well now. So I'm using my gigantic Real Techniques sponge today. This sponge though, I wouldn't recommend because it's already splitting. Like it's way too delicate for these aggressive hands. Maybe it's just me, but they can't withstand the slapping of the face, apparently. Okay. 
good, I think. So let me know down below if you have any pets because we have two giant dogs. I mean, they're not like oversized. My friend has some some uh, Leon burgers, Leon burgers, however you say it, and those are giant. Mine are normal sized, like 75, 65 pounds um, pit mixes, but they're really stocky. And the problem with them, they're awesome and they're great dogs with other people, but they're really excitable. So when people first come in, they want to greet them in their very excitable way. So they want to jump, they want to, you know, push you over, they want to sit on your feet, lick your face, and they mean well, and they'll settle down pretty quickly, but it's that initial part where it's, ooh, it's hard to get through, and my friends were over this weekend, and my friends are dog people, but, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit much, so I don't know what to do about that. I don't know what to do. I've tried. I haven't done the gone to dog training yet, but you know, I've watched the videos. There's some people I like over others. Consistency is my problem. But I gotta figure out what to do. I got to do it. It's driving me crazy. Because it means like I hate having people over. And that's not fair. Because I am a social person. I don't know if you've guessed that about me. I like being around people. It's one of my favorites. He's a little bit of this loose me, <laughs> loose me, Ooh. Maybelline, Maybelline fit me loose powder. I really like it for lots of things, but you know, it's like a cult favorite. I think it's good for setting what I need set. Use my Smashbox Kelly Contour Palette again. Because it's here. And I gotta go to work soon. Have you ever filmed yourself getting ready for the day? I hadn't. I've never really filmed myself with my makeup routine either. And it's really interesting watching it back. And it's interesting how I thought I really had like a process and how I do things. I do to a certain extent, but that changes pretty often. I mean, you can tell. I'm sure with the last few videos you've seen. I mean, Ashley, what are you doing? That's not how you do it. That's how I do it. And like I said in my first video, you do you. If that's how it looks good on your face, or how you think it looks good on your face, then keep it up. Go along with your bad self. I'm going to use the blush in here too. Because not a lot of time to get ready. I'm also going to use it for my eyeshadow. And I'll show you how you can get ready quickly. So I just get a bigger fluffier brush. You know, let me use this one. This brush is one of my favorites. It's a Morphe, Morphe. It's a Morphe brush. Looks like that. It's really good for crease work. So I take the lighter of the two bronzer shades. Which one's lighter? And run it through your crease. I'm just going to do a little defining of your eye socket. Get these eyeballs popping. And I go underneath my eyes too. A lot of people go under with a smaller brush, but when I don't have time, one brush it is. Do you guys make friends with random people you don't know on the internet? Or when you're telling stories like, oh wow, I watched this video on this girl today. Or then, like, when you start referring to said girl or 
guy, whatever, on my friend. I feel like I had that. There's a girl, woman, on Instagram that when I started my makeup Instagram page, she was one of my first followers, and she's just really sweet and encouraging. I just like her. So I refer to her as my friend, even though we've never met, and she lives in a different country. Yay, Canada. She lives in Canada. I live in the good old U.S. of A. Merca is what we refer to it as. So I'm taking the same brush again and going in with the blush shade for a little other color definition situation. You know, blend it on. There's more is more, right? And I have a problem with stopping. It's a wonder that I don't look like a clown every day. By my limited time will stop me from looking ridiculous. Good enough, right? And then you take a brush that doesn't have anything on it and blend through, get rid of any harsh lines. Get rid of them. No one wants lines. Good enough. I'm going to take a flatter brush. Eh, flat enough. Not the one I'd really go for. Go into this under eye brightening color shade. I'm just going to do a little bit on my lids. Make them stand out a little bit more. I decided I'm not putting shimmer on my lids today because it's Monday and I don't feel like it. That's how it's going to look today. I like it. Good enough. Eyebrows. 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 Wrong side. Do they look like sisters or twins? Paternal cousins? Adopted nephews? <laughs> oh, whatever. <clears throat> Theme of the day, good enough. Good enough. A little bit of gel. Hold them hostage. Fluffy. Uh, I'll feed them up. Bronzer, blush. Ooh, I need to highlight. I'll do a little bit of this. Just a little, little tidbit. Tiny, tiny dab. Most of that's going off. Alright. Yep. Locking that gel with some highlight on the face. Not too much. I'm not going for that look today. I want the... Oh, I just roll out of bed and got look really quick. Didn't film a video or anything kind of video. Or didn't film a video or, or do anything kind of look. Did that just rub off my foundation? Kind of. I know I look kind of crazy. What? Ever? Smashbox. I think this was a, a limited thing. Oh, it's the primer water. I really like the primer water, but I got this scent when they had it. So I liked the scent. I thought I did. I thought it was online. It's the Clary Sage and Tea. I really like tea smells. Usually. This one smells good, but 
And it's not like, oh my god, it's amazing good. You have to get it. You don't. You can get the plain one if you want it at all. Because it's just one of those things that I enjoy. <clears throat> Besides watering again. I don't know why. You're doing fine. Dry it out. So, you know, it's great for a watery eye. Put a mascara on. Sure is. Let me go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I'm not going to torture device my lashes today. I saw a new mascara curler while I was at TJ Maxx the other day, and it looked wild. I wanted to get it, but I didn't really want to waste my money on it. You don't need 15 eyelash curlers, right? I used to have one of those ones from Avon that weren't, like, heated up. And it just got all over my lid. Um... It heated up and then you curl them. That worked amazing. I don't know what happened to that one. I'll have to try to find one of those again. I know I can just hit it with my blow dryer, my regular one, but if I'm not doing my hair that day, I don't want to break that out. Hate when my mascara does this. Good enough. Good enough. I'm just gonna go in with this melted matte, Too Faced sellout. I'm not even gonna lie, my lips. I'm just gonna free ball it. Wing it. You know. It's hard to talk into lips at the same time. I love a good wing. I, it's so hard for me to make them even. I think it's because my face isn't even. Whose face is even though? I'll go over that, make it a little shinier. With this gold addiction. Oh, wow, I meant to guess we're doing that. It's this color. Super pretty. Beige gold. I got this in a recommendation from Tati. Because she tries all the things. And has more money to try all the things. And I just like it. I don't use it as much as I thought I would story of my life but yeah that is how I'm gonna look today for work you are welcome I actually put a shirt on it's not my pajama shirt and I hope you have a fantastic day I gotta I had to do something with my hair it's looking crazy but thanks for watching I hope you come back again and you have the most awesome day as well.